Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here. Thanks for joining me for this quick little video of what's been in my mailbox. So, um, although this wasn't sent to me per se, it was a swap that I had with a lady at On Stage in Calgary. Her name is Allison Okamitsu. She's a Calgary demonstrator. She's part of the artisan team and she was using the Eastern Palace um, stamp set and die and I know that's really big right now everybody's into the Eastern Palace suite so I thought I would share her example with you guys to give you some ideas on how to use that suite I know there's tons of videos being played right now about the Eastern Palace I just don't have the Eastern Palace package yet so um, I thought I'd give you some inspiration so you might not know this, or maybe you do. Um, I'm part of the Random Act of Kindness group. So what that is, is we go to this Facebook group. You ask to be a member. You get approved. You put your address in a, in a secure um, document. And you um, choose the month that you are going to participate in you send out however many one to however many cards you want the first random um uh, the first month i did i probably sent out 40 and then i realized that it um was a little bit over my budget <laughs> so then i went just to a smaller amount so i send about 10 cards out um, a month and I choose people that are participating in that month. So this was all from the month of um, March. Okay, so I encouraged one of my, um, the team that I'm on, um, I, I encouraged one of the members, her name is Terry and Terry Hamilton and she is the thing I like about, well, this is her card and she gifted it to me. So thank you very much, Terry. Um, I just want you to pay close attention to um, her attention to detail. With Terry, all of her cards are the same. She has like super precise measurement around, like it's the first thing I noticed. And that's something about craftsmanship when you can see that that person has put that card base on and it is perfect around. I love that. I also, I mean, the, it's so accurate. Um, anyway, I loved the stitch circle. I love the, the teeny tiny little mint macaron, uh, ribbon. So thank you so much, Terry. I love this card. Up next is a card from Kylie Bertucci. Kylie Bertucci is the number one demonstrator in Australia right now. And she is the one who started the Random Act of Kindness group. And she sent me this lovely card for the month of March. I love the tone on tone off to the side. And then she's added these little pearls in. And it's just subtle. And it's f extremely feminine, even though there's gray into it. And she also has that craftsmanship about the 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 perfect and precise um, mat. I'm horrible at it, by the way. I struggle with getting those perfect borders. And just so you want to, just so you know, the difference between an American card and or a Canadian. Um, and the American and UK, that's the difference. The USA and Canada were short and fat and the UK and um, Australia are tall and skinny. <laughs> okay, so this is from a lady named Lou Kitzelman. Um, beautiful work with the DSP. She's used those framelits that um, they're, the framelits are pricey and I haven't gotten them yet. I would love them. I have the stamp set. I just don't have the framelits. So I'm saving up for the framelits, but I love the way that she cut the word out. Just saying hi. And these are in the Calypso Coral and I guess that might be Rich Razzleberry. So, uh, stamped off to the side. So this is a fantastic card from, um, Kim Oliver. She actually sent me two. So Kim Oliver is from Tasmania. She's also an admin 
administrator from the random act of kindness so i i love both her cards this one has a splattering effect um and it's two colors uh gold and blue and that's all it is which i really like this uh it's spotlight um feature and on this one she sponged these this is all sponged so i love that so pretty so thank you very much kim this is from marion pitman and she did some paper piercing here the designer series paper or pattern paper it actually looks like the pattern paper was glued onto something and then cut out because pattern paper is not that thick anyway yeah, it was such a good job. Love all the layering. Again, she's got that craftsmanship with the measuring. That, to me, oh, I love it. So thank you very much. This is from, oh, I'm going to say it wrong. Hung Yi Wong. And she's from Australia as well. She used the Thinlet dye, the one that um, was a heart. And she made it um, like a dress. Same girl. Look at, look look how popular this girl is she is stylish so i love the little sparkly detail i love sparkle i love the sparkly uh ribbon too love the matting looks really good thank you hung Lee. okay so i have to tell you a story so although i belong to the random act of kindness group i also said if anybody wants to send me a card i'm more than happy a to appreciate it and i will keep it forever i promise i have two bankers boxes in the back of into my storage room that um, i keep all my cards after i'm finished viewing them nothing ever goes to trash so just saying so yeah um i either belong to the random act of kindness but i did say that anybody who wanted me to um, show their card off or show their design off, please feel free to um, send me snail mail, send me a card. I'd love to, um, to see what you're up to. So this lady, she lives in Yorkshire and um, her name is Jill and she decided to make me this fabulous card. And it just goes to show you how versatile this serene scenery designer series paper is like so you don't have there is there's no stamping on this card you don't have to stamp on it because this this makes the paper makes it she added a few die cuts um it's a fantastic card thank you jill but the one thing that jill did which was super nice and it was it just made it made my heart like fill if that's even possible she sent inside this card she sent another card for my mom and she said that she thought my mom would like a card from abroad so i'm putting the picture up here so that you can see how mom reacted to um the card being given to her she loved it, it tickled her pink um, and it was so extremely thoughtful of you, Jill. Thank you so very much. You are on my Christmas list. I'm just saying that was lovely for you to do that. Um, my mom posts on my blog. Every time I blog, my mom will comment and she, she's my biggest number one fan, but my mom's 81 years old. <laughs> And my mom goes on the computer to see what her daughter's up to. So um, Jill really got me, um, not only with this beautiful card, but the beautiful card you sent to my mom. So thank you very much. And um, last one, this is not a handmade card. This is from my sister, but look how retro this is. I, I had to show it. It's not just a regular, I think it's a Carlton. Um, it's not, um, yeah, it's not Hallmark or anything. But does this not remind you of the cards? Like I probably I said in the in my back room over here, that bankers two bankers boxes of uh, cards. I bet you I could find a card that looks like this. To me, this screams retro. This was from my sister um, and my niece and nephew, and yeah, it was for Easter. And I just thought I would share it with you because it reminded me. Do you remember these cards that came like this? Like so retro. 
which I thought was kind of cool. Anyway, thanks so much, for everyone, um, for your lovely cards. And please feel free to join the Random Act of Kindness group um, so you can get cards yourself um, or give cards. And um, if you just want me to send them to me, please, I love them. Please send me cards. Okay, I got to run. It's bedtime for me. Have a good night, and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.